Ali Issa Patami, the Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, says Nigerians yet to obtain their national identification number ANIN risk up to 14 years imprisonment as stipulated by the Nigerian Constitution. Patami said while owning a SIM card is optional, the NIN is mandatory as a lot of transactions are not supposed to be carried out without NIN. The minister disclosed this at a state house press briefing on Thursday. He added that 50 million, 51 million Nigerians had registered for their NIN as of March 31st, 2021. According to Patami, there are 189 million registered subscriber identification module cards in the country. Of this figure, he said 150 million have complete registration while the remainder have problems in problems of improper registration. The minister explained that NIN will determine the total number of Nigerians that have registered based on the requirements by law. Each and every citizen and legal resident must obtain his or her national identification number, which is being coordinated by the National Identity Management Commission, NIMC, he said. It said it's a requirement by law, but many citizens ignore it. No country will be successful in education, health, budget planning, or national planning without a database of its citizens in place. What I inherited in the database was less than 20% of our population, but we want to ensure that before we leave office, we would look at the database and be proud of our country. Okay. Hmm. By tomorrow again, they will come back and tell you, come and, and tell us that say, oh, that NIN is not a real thing again. They will introduce another thing. You guys are on very, very unserious people. They will tell you, oh, it is not everybody that can. You know when they started with this, their BVN. Oh, everybody thought that with this, they will be able to get the number of people that are in the country will be able to know our population ah some people will come with the arguments that ah it is not everybody that can own a bank account it's not everybody it's not those who have money that will go to bank the next thing they talk about a national identity card that national identity card i don't know what they are talking about it's it's just back and forth back and forth don't don't be surprised Okay, before December, they, was, they might come up, or maybe they can just even wait till the next year. They will come up with another thing. Another government will come up again. They will, they will, they will, they will start another thing again altogether. Every now and then, they just love to be suffering people. Do you know how many identifications or whatever that people have done? Do you know what they are supposed to be doing? Does it mean they don't have a decent? As they are giving birth in hospitals, that is when they are supposed to. Let, let them even start it now. They are supposed to be getting, you know, you register your child. As at best, whether in hospital or uh, in private hospitals or public hospitals, if not, at least they are off. Uh, I know a lot of uh, all these uh, government, uh, uh, when it comes to census, they go they go to private hospitals. There's a particular day they always go there to go and get the database or to get the information of those children who were born. What do they use all of those things for? Mm -hmm. They will still throw them away. You know, if really you want to get to get it right, start from there, and other pe people will be doing the same thing. Now, they, maybe they will tell you until a child is 18. There is no even system in place for them to do for us to do all these things, and there's no how these things are being done. All of those places they run to, you know, the president. I don't even know what. It, yeah, those people people have been going going abroad for God own, God knows when, God knows when. That is why she started telling us that oh it is normal the what Buari has been doing is a routine thing he has been doing before he came into power so he has to co complete it he has to continue with that but all this while they've been going abroad yet they cannot they can't bring what they have learned if it isn't a wickedness what they have learned over there even if you don't know at least you see how other people do things nobody's island of everything nobody knows everything but when other people are doing this and you see that it's working for them can't you learn, learn from there but no they won't do it it is things that are not even relevant to the people that are not even that cannot even equate to the well-being of the people those are the things they will be putting their interest on 14 years imprisonment believe you me by next year again or by by the time they leave office another government will come they will tell you oh that thing they did there is not even the right thing or they have to start all over again all over again. How many are the education we people have? We are talking about SIM, okay? But now you say it's mandatory, at least whether you have a phone or not, or you have SIM or not, but that NIN is, is important. 
then where what 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 do you have of course babies can really you can start from there i swear but no they will just want you to go and sit down on you know inside the sun and and, and suffer yourself tomorrow again they will come up with another thing is this how to run the, the country very unserious set of people okay mad human being everywhere how will nigeria not break up with such a minister as this you politicians stealing millions billions and no prison for them he would come out again to tell us the he wanted to say 14 weeks and not 14 years our politicians are gradually turning to comedians that means the they should be ready to arrest millions of nigerians hope they have enough room in prison for accommodating them you see why i keep clamoring for mental and physiological or psychological medical examinations on these political actors occupying various seats in this government this is more serious than looting election rigging and terrorism in this country how can this man be a minister i thought he should reason differently as a young man is there anything in Asu rock that affects their brains once they are appointed here in my resident local government they um 500 for them 500 for the form 5000 naira to capture after you have long days in queues i would have done my sins but i don't have such money many are willing to but not most of us fault is not their fault you gang you gang of thieves whoever smuggles rice gets death sentence who fails to register for your corruption scheme god id card court id card registration get 14 years imprisonment yet all money voted for the armed forces has gone into the private pocket mr minister may allah bend your mouth for pronouncing such against the suffering masses of the country some of these people in Paris governments where did they receive their training one we think like muhammad is bad just turn right to see another one worse at another corner the worst mannerless is standing animal talk very soon another government will scrap this useless i said it they will scrap it again <laughs> they will scrap it again they will say oh it is not enough i i, I remember when they built a uh, all these uh, runabouts along lake Airway expressway before you know it after wasting all those money they came and demolished everything the question is that they don't even they, that's why most of them they always think or make policies within their tenor they don't even make policies that we and you know at at leave them they just everything that will favor them within that time that's the only thing they know and by the time they leave office they will come they're going to be enjoying all of those things what they have already gotten so even if another government comes in or another set of people come come in and change whatever it's none of their business it won't affect them you can imagine 14 years imprisonment if you don't register so guys let's hear your opinion on this